covering the villages for you. T.K. Cross and the VNN News Team. On today's Lifestyle Show, we've got another edition of Love My Ride featuring a 1969 Trans Am. Also, for you RC aircraft fans, we've got details on a swap meet that will interest you. Hi there, thank you for joining us. Who remembers what was going on in 1969? Let's see, Apollo 11 landed the first man on the moon, Woodstock took place, Richard Nixon became president, and the children's show Sesame Street premiered. Also, Pontiac introduced the 1969 Trans Am. In this episode of Love My Ride, we'll take a look at one right here in the villages. We'll look at a 1969 Firebird. Uh, resto mod into a Trans Am. I've owned the car about five years. Picked it up in Franklin, Tennessee. It was just a driver. A car that's not show worthy, but gets you around and people gawk at it. I've owned a lot of classic cars, and this is the first Firebird I've ever owned. I've always liked Pontiacs, worked on a lot of Pontiacs and Firebirds for other people. Decided I wanted a convertible, and I found this one. I've done a lot of work on it, and uh, Rod Wallace from Wallace Auto done some work on it. Took about a year and a half frame off restoration. Every part on it's brand new except for three parts. The door locks and an emblem on the dash. It's got an LSX, five and a quarter horse engine. That gives a little bit of power. It'll snap your head back. It's a Tremec six speed. There's just a, a transmission that holds up under a lot of horsepower. It's got four link suspension under it with a tubular front end. It's got headers and Borland exhaust. And you can tune that, so we've tuned it to where we wanted it. Oh, it rides really nice. I was surprised how nice it rides compared to the way it rode whenever I, whenever I first got it. Everything on this is customized, all the way from the front spoiler to the hood to the back spoiler. It's all customized. It turned some heads. Yeah, the only one uh, exhibition we took it to, it had people around it all day long. I think we're going to keep it for a while. It is one of my favorites. Get out there and work on one and build it. And it don't matter what you put into it, it just uh, make it your own. RC aircraft enthusiasts, there's an upcoming swap meet you won't want to miss. Organized by the Southern Eagle Squadron, this event, the annual Radio Control Aircraft Swap Meet, offers enthusiasts the opportunity to buy, sell, or trade RC planes, jets, helicopters, drones, parts, and accessories. Attendees can enjoy door prizes, auctions, and real flight RC simulators for virtual trials before purchasing. Coffee and hot food refreshments will be available as well. The annual Radio Control Aircraft Swap Meet is set for Saturday, November 2nd from 8 to 11 a.m at Recreation Plantation Community Center located on Highway 466 in Lady Lake. Admission is $5 per family. For more info, visit the website shown below. Up next, is stretching good for you? The experts weigh in. But first, we'll take a look at the weather in the villages for the next five days. Here's your VNN five-day weather. From the WVLG Weather Center, this is Christopher James with your VNN five-day forecast. Outlook for the next couple days through the weekend, going to be sunny with highs in the mid-80s, overnight lows in the mid-60s. Great weather ahead here in Florida's friendliest hometown. Stay with us. More Villages Lifestyle News is coming up right after this on VNN. It's Dealer Gatota's 46th anniversary celebration. Get special anniversary pricing on every new and pre-owned vehicle on the lot. Lease a new Toyota for only $247 per month. And during our 46th anniversary, Dealer Gatota will make your first 12 payments. Drive for three years and only pay for two. Big savings on big trucks. New Tundra's up to $4,900 off. Thank you for 46 years. Toyota makes the car, and Luca makes the difference. 
When cleaning your air ducts, it's important to clean the entire system. An air duct cleaning from Stanley Steamer removes pounds of trapped dirt, dust, and allergens from your home completely. The cleaning improves your home's indoor air quality, keeps your home cleaner longer, and can even improve the efficiency of your HVAC system. We want you to have the cleanest and healthiest indoor air possible. So call for a free inspection today. Stanley Steamer gets your home cleaner. Your health, our priority. UBITelehealth.com. Have you and John ever had issues with, you know? Yes, we did. He's embarrassed to talk to his doctor about it in person. But we talked to a physician at UBI, and they told us about this new med that has really been working well for us. <laughs> That's exciting. It works super fast, and it gets us back to feeling like we're young again. Oh, that must be my UBI delivery. Bringing healthcare home to you at UBITelehealth.com. stretch and how often? That's a question being answered by the experts. The evidence surrounding physical activity is clear. It helps to ward off obesity, diabetes, heart disease, and more. But when it comes to stretching, experts aren't really that sure. Experts say they can't agree on it because there are so many different types of stretching for different reasons. It's hard to measure. But one thing about stretching experts do agree on is it increases circulation and improves flexibility. So yes, we can say stretching is good for you on that level. A local group is collecting funds for hurricane victims and you can help out too. The Rotary Club of the Villages Foundation has a line item on its philanthropic budget for special projects, so funds are available for events or projects that come up outside of annual initiatives. And two hurricanes in as many weeks certainly qualifies. After Milton, the Rotary Club of the Villages Foundation unanimously decided to collect money to help hurricane victims. As of October 22nd, the group had collected nearly $4,000. The first step Rotarians take in the event of a disaster is reaching out to fellow club members to gather contributions for the foundation. Those funds are allocated to local districts and organizations where they are most needed. Villagers interested in helping can donate directly to the Rotary Club of the Villages Foundation, Inc. More information can be found on their website, villagesrotary.org. Coming up, we'll have details on the upcoming Veterans Day ceremony. But first, in order to keep facilities in the villages well maintained, here are some temporary closures to consider as you plan your week. I'm Daria here with your Recreation Roundup. The next star activity is Wiffle Ball on Friday, November 1st, 1 p.m. at Big Cypress Recreation. Please see the district website for specifics. We look forward to seeing you there. As a friendly reminder, please always carry your original hard copy Villages ID or a guest ID with a photo ID. Only original copies of ID cards are accepted at the recreation centers. All rules and regulations posted in the recreation facilities should be followed at all times. Dreaming of your next cruise getaway? It's closer than you think. From nearby Florida ports to thrilling destinations in the Caribbean, Alaska, Europe, and even river cruises, the travel experts at Cruises Only have your perfect voyage waiting. And here's the best part. Village's residents receive a free booking bonus on most cruises, combinable with Cruise Line's nationally advertised offers. Don't wait. Visit cruisesonly.com slash villages to claim your free bonus and book your dream cruise today. There is only one roofing contractor who is number one in Central Florida. One Floridians have been trusting for over 49 years. 
Other roofers are selling out to Wall Street and hedge funds, not us. We're still your local roofing contractor. From Spanish Springs to Brownwood to Lake Sumter Landing, Gold Key Roofing is the most trusted and most called upon roofing contractor for a reason. Trust your roof with a company who is really a part of the community. Gold Key Roofing, often imitated, never duplicated. When you visit Cody's, you're walking into a great bar with fantastic drink options, including two-for-one happy hour, and a very cool place to eat with great food and phenomenal service. I love the BOGO fajitas every Wednesday, and we love coming here and feel like family. Just like family, with loads of smiles for you at Cody's Original Roadhouse in Brownwood and Lake Sumter Landing. From the Village's Daily Sun Sports Department, here's Stephen Heineman with your VNN Sports Shorts. Hello everyone and happy Halloween. I'm Stephen Heineman here with another weekend preview on VNN Sports Shorts. We've got a scary good weekend in the sports world coming up, so without further ado, let's take a look. As always, we'll start on Saturday with a dive into the college football slate. You might have your own allegiances, but this weekend has an obvious headliner and it's happening at noon. Coming off a scare against Nebraska, the third-ranked Ohio State Buckeyes are hungry to prove themselves as they hit the road to take on number four Penn State. The only other ranked matchup this weekend will be in the ACC, and it will kick off at 8 p.m. Number 18 SMU will be looking to stay hot against number 20 Pitt. If you want to make a road trip out of the villages to catch one of the best rivalries in college football, the cocktail party between number two Georgia and the Florida Gators will be happening in Jacksonville. Kickoff for that game will be at 3.30. Moving on to the NFL slate, the best matchup of the weekend will be at 4.25. Jared Goff and the Lions have looked unstoppable the past few weeks, but they will be tested when they travel to Lambeau Field and square off with the 6-2 Packers. In the 1 o'clock window, a great defense will see an elite offense when the 5-3 Broncos head to Baltimore for a date with the Ravens. On Sunday night, the Colts will be in Minnesota to take on the 5-2 Vikings. Then on Monday night, we will see if the Buccaneers' defense can limit their blown coverages against the undefeated Chiefs. As always, I'd like to thank you for joining me for another weekend preview right here on VNN Sports Shorts. I'm Stephen Heineman, and I hope to see you all again soon. The Villages will host a Veterans Day ceremony, and everyone is invited to attend. Veterans Memorial Park of the Villages is hosting a Veterans Day ceremony on November 11th at 10 a.m. in the park off Page Place. There will be a guest speaker, a presentation of the colors, and a wreath presentation. Attendees are encouraged to bring their own chairs, and as a reminder, pets are not permitted at this event. The Buffalo are marching toward a November assessment. The District 19 Marching Music Performance Assessment will be at 1.30 p.m. November 2nd at the Villages High School. This is the first year the event is being held at VHS after having been at Leesburg High School for decades. The District 19 Marching Music Performance Assessment brings in high school marching bands from every school in Lake, Sumter, and Marion counties. <laughs> That's a lot of marching. Performers and audience members are expected to exceed 4,000 people at the event. Performances will be scheduled throughout the day for each band and be graded by judges. Awards will be presented at 9 p.m. Tickets are $15 and are available online at teachticks.com. We'll be back with more from Florida's friendliest hometown. Stay with us. More Villages Lifestyle News is coming up right after this on VNN. And now for the three-day VNN forecast presented by Frank Gay Services. Sunny skies ahead for the next few days here in the Villages. Thursday's high 84, 85 is a high on Friday and Saturday. I'm Daria here with your Recreation Roundup. Start your holiday shopping at any one of the many Resident Lifestyle Volunteer Club showcases. You'll find art pieces, fused glass, and pottery items. 
On Saturday, November 2nd, there's the Rohan Glass Fusion Show at Rohan Recreation from 9 to 2 p.m. Creative Sculpture and Clay Club Show at Everglades Recreation, 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. And on Sunday, November 3rd, stop by the Functional Glass and Pottery Show at Everglades Recreation, 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. As a friendly reminder, please always carry your original hard copy Villages ID or a guest ID with a photo ID. Only original copies of ID cards are accepted at the recreation centers. All rules and regulations posted in the recreation facilities should be followed at all times. Summer may be over, but at Cart World, the savings are hotter than ever. All 2024 club cars must go. Buy now and receive bonus discounts up to $2,500. Available in two, four, and six passenger with gas, electric, or lithium power. Cart World has a car for you. Don't miss out on these savings. Cart World, club cars award-winning dealer for over 35 years. Conveniently located at Lady Lake and Highway 27, 441, just south of the new PGA Superstore. Drive a little, save a lot. Patient education is really important. Um, I see so many people uh, that have bought their hearing aids uh, before they moved to the villages or they bought them someplace else before they found us and they wish they bought something different, right? They wind up with what I call ITD hearing aids. That stands for in the drawer, right? They, they sounded like they helped them. They wore them for three, four, five, six months and then after that they just weren't happy. And that's typically because they bought the wrong hearing aid. So we're gonna slow down a little bit. You're gonna call or email or go on our website, you're going to request an appointment and we are going to reach out to you, we're going to call you. We're going to ask you a little bit about your symptoms, we're going to ask you a little bit about um, educating you, right? We're going to send you a copy of a book I helped write a few years ago. We've got tons of resources on our website uh, to educate you on your tinnitus, on your hearing loss, loss uh, types of cause and causes. The other thing we're real big on is uh, patient education seminars, right? We do at least two a month, if not more. Um, I love it when patients come to one of those first, so that when you come in for that hour-long appointment, a lot of the, the base knowledge, a lot of the understanding of uh, causes of hearing loss, treatments of hearing loss, you got a basic knowledge of that so that you can make informed decisions. I think an educated patient is, is the happiest patient and uh, we want to make sure we do that before we just hang some hearing aids on you. This is VNN. It was quite the birthday party for a well-known villager who reached centenarian status. World War II veteran Irving Locker arrived to his 100th birthday party in style thanks to a motorcycle escort of nearly 60 members of the Combat Veterans Motorcycle Association Orlando chapter along with the village nomads. He spent the next hour meeting with the nearly 300 guests who came to wish him a happy 100 years. Locker is among an estimated 66,000 living World War II veterans in the United States. Coming up, we'll take a look at your village's lifestyle concerts, events, and entertainment on the squares. Stay with us. More village's lifestyle news is coming up right after this on VNN. As Americans, our freedom is guaranteed. But what about your financial freedom? I'm Jeff Jr., founder and CEO of Trajan Wealth. As a U.S. Marine, I learned exactly what it means to put others first. And I founded Trajan Wealth on that same principle. That's why it's my mission to make sure your retirement is built for your future. Right now, receive up to a 30% upfront bonus or up to 12% growth for your retirement income. Call Trajan Wealth today. Clap your hands and stop your feet. 
Time now for the Village's Entertainment Beat. I'm Natalie here with your Entertainment Beat. New shows go on sale Wednesdays at 10 a.m. Here's some of what's going on sale this week. Feel like a shining star when you get your tickets to Elements, the Earth, Wind and Fire Ultimate Tribute coming to Savannah Center December 20th. Not only will the Villages host the Nutcracker at the Sharon December 4th this year, but they'll also host Nutcracker Magical Christmas at Savannah Center December 27th. Experience country music history and a tribute to Conway and Loretta in Twitty and Lynn at Savannah Center January 10th. Blues Traveler is making its way to the Tracy Performing Arts Center for an unforgettable night of blues, January 29th. Joy to the world because Three Dog Night is back at the Sharon, March 28th of the new year. New shows go on sale Wednesdays at 10 a.m. and you can purchase your tickets online at thevillagesentertainment.com, at a physical box office location or over the phone. That's your beat and I'll see you next time. The Villages is the place to be when it comes to great musical entertainment. And these are the bands scheduled to perform for you on the squares Thursday night. Brought to you by The Villages Entertainment and your Villages soundtrack, WVLG. That's all we have for you today. Join us again tomorrow for another lifestyle show and be sure to pick up a copy of today's Daily Sun. Oh, and remember to tune your radio into WVLG while you're out there enjoying that active Villages lifestyle. We'll see ya. Thanks for watching your VNN Lifestyle News Show. Hi, I'm Devin. And I'm Harper. And we're very excited to share with you a specialty license plate that will allow you to carry the spirit and pride that you have for the villages with you wherever you go. All while supporting education for our families and students here at the Villages Charter School. We really wanted to build a world-class community that has world-class goods and services to the people that live there. And we realized early that we couldn't do that without world-class people to deliver those goods and services because we wanted to attract people who were concerned about their child's education. It says something about a person's character. Those were the type of people that we wanted to have here serving the residents of this community. When we got started and we had the concept of the charter school, we did everything that was within our means at that time to do it. It just sort of translated into what families want and need. The Village's charter school is kind of unique in that it's a charter in the workplace. And that means that in order for a student to be enrolled in the charter school, one of their parents works somewhere here in the Villages. This brings together a very diverse student body that come from an array of various backgrounds and families who all contribute in a variety of ways across our community. We teach our children our core values in our charter school because we want them to go out into the world and make a difference. Well, we started with building the facilities as a backdrop, but it's our faculty and staff that have layered on the amazing academics, the academies, sports, and programs. The idea of the creation of Middleton and the expansion of the school and housing, where it's the people that make this place tick every day. Families' dreams can come true, make it possible for villagers' dreams to come true as well. Years in the making, the Villages, as well as the Villages Charter School, holds a special place for all of our families. As you can see, there is a lot of pride in our school and our amazing community. The Villages is a pretty special place. So we invite you to join us this October and get a jump start on ordering your specialty plate at your local tax office. Thank you for making the Villages such an amazing place to live. And thank you for your support of the families of those that serve the community. 
To learn more, visit www.thevillages.com for details. This is my new favorite course. I love it. I used almost every club in my bag. Oh, the course is in beautiful shape. I think it is fantastic. I think Laurel Oak is going to be an uh, incredible addition to our executive golf experience. It, uh, as of right now, it's the longest executive course we have in the villages and, and actually hosts the longest par four. We started out on the fifth hole, which is the longest hole. We both did pretty well on it. It's going to be very playable for all. So I think if you want to come up to one of the front tees, your angles are pretty good, not a lot of forced carry, so you should have a lot of fun. And if you want to take it back a little bit, I think it's going to give you a nice challenge as well. It was fun. It was a nice course, very pretty, nice long holes, even from the ladies' tees. Love it. Love it. It's well maintained. The greens are perfect. The, the fairways are awesome. Everything about it's just top notch. I'm just happy to play any course, but this one's going to be a, a good one. And then the, the pitching pot's going to open right in my backyard. So. So it's an awesome place to play. A lot of uh, challenge for, for an the, executive uh... course. The course is, as usual, designed for the golfer, all different levels. People can come out and practice their short game, which is wonderful. It's only a two minute drive. I can come out here anytime, and it's, it, it's just a beautiful course. It's nice to just be able to get in your golf cart and come over here and it's just so gorgeous. I mean, what else can you ask for? I mean, Live Oak, great. It's great having this uh, pitch and putt open. We watched it get built, which yeah. was really fun to do. What I love about it is if you have a mixed household, maybe an experienced golfer and an inexperienced golfer, you're both out here. You know, you're going to be out here enjoying each other and I think you're both going to have a great time. Yeah, we really enjoy these courses, especially when we bring down our children who really don't play. And this is an opportunity for them to be with us as a family and really enjoy it. I mean, they had a good time. This is a prime golf location. You're about a mile and a half away. Southern Oaks, which is right across the Brexley Bridge, is going to be there to help service you. You're going to be able to go in, get some golf balls before your round, go hit McGrady's after the round, maybe go listen to a little music. We're going to Sawgrass. We're going to Sawgrass. For a cocktail. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I could think going to Sawgrass after here sounds like a great idea, and I'm looking forward to it. Grab your neighbors, grab your friends. It's This is a, a fantastic location. We're happy to have it in our We're neighborhood. We're doing it right. We had a good time. <laughs>
great music. It makes you smile. You make me smile. Make me smile. Just to see you smile. Your Village's soundtrack. WVLG.